All right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and today we are flying a Cinestar X8, and we're using the Grapner. This is the MZ24. So for switches, we're using this for altitude hold. So off, that's on, off again. Also, you can hear the transmitter actually tell you when I go into altitude on, it says altitude on, altitude off. Um, this is our GPS switch. All switches, well, when you first start out, all switches forward. So for GPS off, Middle switch is position hold. All the way back is coming home. Back, and you can actually hear the transmitter telling you what you're in and um, again. Middle position back to position hold, off again. This is our telemetry. So for instance, what we're looping through is our receiver strength, our input voltage, our current draw, and the temperature of our hottest speed controller. So we just flip this forward, and right now it tells me about my receiver strength. It tells me my speed control temperature. It now goes into input voltage, which is the voltage of my battery pack. And the last one is current drop. Okay, also with the telemetry, if you hit this, so on your screen, this is a nice little color LCD. If you hit this T in the corner, and if you hit next, one, two, three, four, five times, you get this screen. So this is all your telemetry information from the copter. So right here, the first one, voltage, our pack is 24.9. When that reaches 21 point volts, 21.0 volts, it's time to come in and land. Um, this will start telling you, and also the copter will start beeping. Um, time, that's how much time it's actually been flying for. Um, that'll start counting when you start the motors. Milliamps, how much your amp draw. And the other one is um, this says 11, that's how many GPS satellites. For this to actually start the motors, you need at least six satellites. Um, and you have other stuff over here. Um, you have your altitude, what direction is pointed, current draw, um, and what else do we have here? Um, I believe this is how many um, meters away from our home position, which is where we start the motors. So that's our telemetry. Okay, now the telemetry is done, um, I just keep that window open. Um, so when you first start, um, once again, make sure all switches are forward, make sure your altitude hold is off, make sure your GPS is off. Um, when you first start out, you need to calibrate the gyros. This happens each time um, before each flight. So you bring the throttle stick up and to the left. You'll hear the copter beep three times. To start the motors, both sticks down and to the inside. And to start, or to turn the motors off, both sticks down and to the outside. All right, so once again, we have plenty of voltage. So we're just gonna go for a quick flight here. So bolt sticks down into the center. And you can see the, the red and the blue LEDs. The red is forward, the blue is away from us. Also, this has an FPV camera up front. So that's the front of the copter. So right now I'm just flying this all in manual flight. I have no weight on it, so right now I'm probably about a quarter stick for hovering. So right now I'm gonna go into altitude hold. So I'm gonna take my altitude switch and turn that on. So right now this is an altitude hold. And now I'm gonna go into GPS position hold. So I'm gonna take the GPS into the middle position. So right now we are, I'm not even touching the sticks right now. It is in altitude hold mode and it has at least six satellites. So it's able to make or keep its um, GPS position hold. So once again, we'll go into, um, I'm gonna turn everything off. So I'm gonna turn GPS mode off and I'm gonna turn altitude hold off. And once again, I'm now flying it manually with the sticks. And now I'm just gonna come in and land. And once again, to turn the motors off, both sticks down and to the outside. All right, this has been Jeff with Quadrocopter, and we'll talk to you soon.